Hey y'all. I'm back. Can y'all believe the year went by that fast? <sighs> I gotta get comfortable in front of the camera again. And I wanna thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and for watching. If you haven't already, click subscribe if you wanna see more content. Um, and I wanna thank you all so much again for supporting me. And this year, I promise I'm gonna try to be more consistent when it comes to this YouTube stuff. I have a lot of things that I wanna try out this year. And that is exactly why I'm here now. So I have a couple of goals that I have written down. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my goals for 2022. And I do have a lot of things in store and a lot of things that I want to share with you all. But let's go ahead and get started. First goal for 2022 is I want to go on at least three trips. I know Rona, there's a lot of restrictions going on where the places that you can go to and where you can't go to and what you could do and what you can't do. I'm not really sure where I can go at this point in time, but I do know that I want to go on three trips this year. I'm going to see what we can do to get that done. I already know that I have one trip planned, so that means I have two more trips that I need to plan. But I want to make sure that I go on at least three trips this year. My second goal for 2022 is I want to get my body right. And I'm not talking about BBLs. I'm talking about natural, holistic care for my body. Wellness, mental health, physical health, well-being. I want to eat better. I want to exercise more, even though I know exercising is not my, it's not my thing. But I do want to get into fitness, whether that is roller skating outside, going on longer walks, running, going to the gym sometimes, eating better, like I said before. I do want to do something along the lines of getting a nutritionist certification just so I make sure that I know exactly what I'm doing and I'm doing the best thing for my body and make sure I'm getting all of those nutrients and vitamins that I need to supplement my body and make sure that it's functioning at its highest capacity. So that is my second goal of 2022. My third goal for 2022 is that I want to start going on solo dates, solo trips, solo dates, taking myself out, caring for myself, learning more about myself, doing things so that I can better understand who I am as a woman. And I know, like I said before, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so there's not that much that I can do. But I live in Florida. We got beaches. We got Miami. We got South Beach. We got Fort Lauderdale. There's so much stuff that I can find and do for myself, go out, just chill, relax, anything that I need to clear my mind, to just take a break from other people, that is what I'll be doing. My fourth goal for 2022 is I want to be more consistent on YouTube. So not only on YouTube, I want to be more consistent on TikTok and on Instagram. Growing my followers, I want to put out better quality content. I just want to overall really narrow down on what my niche might be for this year so that I can grow my page in the way that I would like it. And I've seen a couple of different pages that I started following that I really like their style. And I'm going to try to see if I can find my own style when it comes to content creation. So I really do want to get serious when it comes to content creation because I have so many different ideas. And I'm a very creative person. I just need to go ahead and put some effort into doing it. And please excuse the lighting, the sun kind of just went down, so I might look a little on the cooler side. The next goal that I have is going to be about career choices. So this year is a very important year when it comes to my career. As many of you guys know, I am a teacher, so what I'm looking to do is I'm trying to narrow down, do I want to keep doing this or do I want to switch paths? And if I am going to be switching career paths, I'm pretty sure it's going to be something in the beauty industry. I'm not quite sure what it would be, but I do know that there are some courses that I want to do and some certifications that I would like to get before I completely decide to just go ahead and switch career paths. The next goal that I have actually seems like it is the opposite of everything that I've been talking about. Everything that I said before is very, very expensive, but something I really would like to do is to save money. So wherever I can, I'm going to save money. 
I've started doing something called the zero dollar budget and that's basically where I calculate every single bill that I have and every single dollar that I get from my paychecks. I distribute every single dollar that I have from my paycheck and it's going to go to something specific and that's going to help me reduce spending money that I don't have and wasting money on things that I really don't need. The last thing that I want to do this year is I want to grow my relationship with God. And I really want to strengthen the bond that I have and the relationship that I have. And whether that is going to church, and I know things are virtual right now, so that's being consistent with watching my church services, listening to podcasts, and I have a few podcasts that my friends recommended. If you have any podcasts that you would recommend me listening to, please go ahead and drop them down below. So I'm going to be listening to more podcasts. I'm going to be reading my Bible more often and doing more devotionals daily. And I'm going to be more in tune with prayer and praise and making sure that I am actually growing my relationship with God. If anyone would like to share their goals that they have, feel free to drop them down below. I will definitely be reading them and interacting with you all. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye! Now my pastor say I be my life, everything I desire, I go receive.